And that is Simbi Appliances. This lovely red ribbon right here. I actually did an off-camera ribbon cutting, grabbing a bottle of water, and then I'm and then I'm heading straight towards home. Okay, Islanders, it's the next day here at Russell Island, and the weather's calmed down, which means that I can present to you this trip over here down at Sandy Beach right about now, and uh, the roadworks aren't even there, so thank goodness for that. You know, I was just talking about it earlier, and you know, if it were up to someone else, they would have they would have just they would just found out would have start work from where the damage was all the way up to where it ends. Just would have done the whole road, that whole section there, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> I probably probably would have done something along the lines of that as well. And uh, because it's Mother's Day, we've got lots of people down over at Sandy Beach as well. So that will be so that's. Yeah, it's just mostly men there. Okay, well that makes sense, I suppose. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of people over here at Sandy Beach, and as you Islanders already know, a lot of things that happen around Sandy over here. It's a beach, it makes sense. It's like one of the most one of the most isolated locations. I've ever encountered in my life. Oh, look where we are now. There's the water <laughs> and the ducks. The ducks are here too. <laughs> How nice islanders to see the ducks along here. And uh, yep, pool of water before it leads you to the ocean with filled with water. Am I right about that, Islanders? Probably so. Um, more pools of water right along there. Okay, Islanders, now we are leaving Sandy Beach and all of the, all the muddy lands along here. There's, there's mud across that uh, land down there, mangrove territory. And now, now we're going to head back towards the the north here, but as you can see, Islanders, down here, the roads are literally starting to fall apart down here, Islanders, and it's not surprising really because uh, a lot of people are not happy about this. <laughs> and, yeah, they really, really, the, the, the islands do need some sort of uh, aqua adequate attention to it because uh, you can see that the roads. Some, like there's some sections of this road here that, that the road that the roads are literally falling apart like there's cracks up along the roads here there's some unstable terrain um, along some of these roads here as well and uh, as we've reported in earlier um, in, in previous Island Life episodes there have actually been some potholes that have been detected as well but they just pave over them and call it a day uh, when in actual reality they should just strip actually just strip that road and just redo the whole road again properly this time because as you Islanders already know these roads just you know they just pave on them and just tarmac seal them like that and just leave them as they are like which is not on Islanders like like, like like if you if your council owns that particular region then it's their responsibility they shouldn't just leave it to the elements some people may have done so in the past. But there's been, like there's a pothole down there. They haven't even fixed that up yet. What is wrong with you? Goodness gracious Islanders. Now you see why I'm so harsh on, uh, on, on certain things Islanders because some people don't get it done. Or they don't get it done properly. Like it's just absolutely pointless, Islanders, just going along here and seeing these. Like they've done a good job with with uh, with a section of the road. There's other sections that require probably more attention than that as well, because uh, 
certain sections of this road aren't really safe for driving on. And we know that because you islanders have already seen it in various episodes before this one. There have been times where we've travelled down these roads here, islanders, over the last three and a half years, and usually for about three years of that, they've been unsafe for drivers. Okay, Islanders, we're now down at the other boat ramp, the Wahini Drive boat ramp, also known as the Oyster Boat Ramp. Well, of course, they're both Oyster Boat Ramps, but this one's the Oyster Boat Ramp. I named this one the Oyster Boat Ramp first. So this would be the first Oyster Boat Ramp right here that I would obviously be naming here. And I named it that back in 2020. And the oyster boat ramp and the oysters aren't even underwater islanders. Even though even though the uh, tide's gone in quite a fair bit, it's still not even underwater. It's a car on the boat ramp, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Not even all the oysters are even underwater. Most of them seem to be, but not all of them. Still a selection of them that are still <laughs> Clearly exposed on the surface, Islanders. But yeah, that's that's the boat ramp for you, and there's the boats down there. And yeah, look at that. Even more disrepair. There's just so much. There's, there's too many things here on this island that have been left unrepaired uh, and <laughs> an un, under maintained uh, throughout this time, Islanders, and it's just not on at all. Um, pretty upset really and I know you islanders will be too yeah, let's have a look at this concrete road and, and I'll see if there's any there's, if there's anything that needs attention on this road here I doubt it but I'll, I'll look anyway so I'll just look around and I mean so far with the concrete road here I don't see any issues at the moment I'll pause this Okay, so, I'm dri so we're driving along this road here, Islanders. I don't see any issues uh, at the moment. I mean, I do see a crack across the middle there, but I would figure that would be normal. Um, the road splits back into one now, so, they, so they, they, they've obviously made the road more narrow. Okay, that's perfectly normal with, uh, with streets of barely any proportion anyway. So, continuing along this road. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any issue here at all, Islanders. Okay, now, of course, this road definitely needs attention here because it's actually cracked everywhere along there. And... Hmm. Yeah, oh well, I suppose. Radio Islanders, so it is a little later on in the day. Um, one o'clock in the afternoon, as a matter of fact. And yes, yeah, so it, it's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty busy one Islanders. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> so yeah, not, not, not to worry Islanders, it'll be, it'll be good. So yeah, whether they will be long and truly over by the time that this episode is up. And I do hope that you had a happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there, all of those that serve a parental role as a mother. Happy Mother's Day to you all. So. <laughs>